Welcome back everyone for today's project you can see I'm underneath I'm underneath the mobile mansion and again to everybody who keeps making comments it's a joke mobile mansion it's not mobile anymore see no wheels and I know it's not a mansion it's just a joke people gotta lighten up so what I'm doing is tying all the plumbing together um, so as yes, you can see you got a stub out that's for the bathroom down that end here that's a drain actually for the laundry drain for the air handler water connection is up in front there sink kitchen sink and then all the way down there for the other bathroom so not too bad uh, just a little harder by myself i didn't get i was, thought i was going to have somebody come to help but they're unable to come so it'll take me a little bit longer today but i'm going to do it and i'll show you i'm going to tie into an existing septic tank um, i'm going to go into a sewage basin with a pump and it'll be down all the way down kind of where that garbage can is those are some of my plumbing fittings down there but that's almost where that basin will be so that's what I'm gonna do now so I'll just give you another look so I'll be starting I'll be starting there there'll be a clean out at the end and it will work its way down so I'm gonna get to it uh, after 17 trips in and out when you have nobody to help you it takes a little longer So what I'm doing right now is getting the first the first bathroom three inch line in line with where I wanted to go down there so it had to move over 13 inches this is on a 45 so it will turn and go straight The makers of these units, so to speak, don't really care where they put them, whether they're plumb. So it's kind of a hassle. But it is what it is. This is primer, something a lot of the places down here in South Carolina don't seem to know what primer is but I do and I'm sure you do as well and make sure I'm not doing this as instructional video but make sure that when you put it in you twist it at least a quarter turn no more than a half turn otherwise you'll start to break the it's actually a weld believe it or not it's everybody thinks it's glue but it's actually it actually welds it together what I use on my water lines when I do underground is called red hot lava now, it's really medium but it's uh, that requires no primer and that that is that is a definite weld for sure okay. and that stuff will set up in 10 seconds if you don't have it where you want it you it's gonna be wherever you just put it whether you want it there or not get the straps on at least so I can kind of get it where I want it twenty inches to the center 
question. What bugs me? Why accept this premise? It's a lie. There is no impeachment. So why talk about it as such? Why do you have to expose it? We're talking about Republican critics. There's no reason to go along with this. There isn't an impeachment. There hasn't been a vote. I'm sure they use Chinese steel. I doubt this would be too difficult to get in. Except my fasteners are also made in China, I'm sure. So half the time they don't work either. And of course that one's bent. No, it's just my bit. Of course I've got a pointy I've got a pointy bit. It's not gonna work on these. Gotta be something. Get out again. Not very easy. Let's try it again. I will redo this to get the proper pitch once I get it up there, but without anybody else to help me, I need to get it roughly to where it's got to go and fix it after. because I'm going to wrap them in a circle around the pipe, not just loop it underneath it. So I can't cut it yet. It'll be a waste of a strap, but I've got a thousand foot roll that I've had since, I don't know, 1992. And it's still probably got 800 feet on it.
Okay, here's the end. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get video in between. I had a, my friend did come today and help me get to the end, which was nice. And I didn't set up any cameras because I wanted to get right to it. So, as you saw in it, I started here, came down right there is the dish uh, not dishwasher the washer and dryer and the hose on the right is from the air handler the condensing liquid that comes out of that there is the kitchen sink down lower so this is what we did today did down here it's strapped up it's just about sitting on the ground right there I've got another clean out. There's a clean out at the start. There's a clean out right there, which is pitched towards the discharge. The last sweep of the bathroom, and right there just goes right out. I had an existing septic. So, right here goes down into the ground comes out into four inch so it goes from three inch to four inch right there the pump basin here's the pump I'll do a separate video on that but the pump will be in the hole there'll be an electric service service a plug all it is is a plug right there I got to run that yet so it's a 40 gallon 40 gallon uh, basin and I just cleared I have an existing septic tank so basically it's going to go where's my finger there it is I just cleared through there right there so this will come it'll be a two inch discharge and if you remember from previous video I cleared all the trees through here and I put a lot of them in the way so I had to move those again but those are gone. I bush hogged it, but I also brought the finish mower over because that that's bush hog, that's finish mower. Bush hog, finish mower. So I'm going to get the rest of this because I don't know exactly where we're coming in. But I'll show you the septic tank. This was here from the previous owner. Um, but basically, well, it's underneath. But it's under here. So I'm going to dig up around it so that I can find a knockout. And there's a look. So I'm standing on the septic tank. So that's where we got to go. It's about 160 feet from there. It's going to come through here. 
and right in and go. The last 10 feet, so it'll be two inch coming out of the pump, the last 10 feet will be four inch to slow the, the pressure down and the speed so that it doesn't mess up the, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the viability of the septic tank because they've got three layers in the septic tank so that it won't mess up the top the scum layer where it drops in um, but i'm going to finish cutting this up because like i said i don't know exactly where i'm going to come in depends on the knockout you could kind of see the corner that's the corner of the tank there and it goes over to here so that's what that's going to do i'll get a separate video on that uh, my friend is also going to bring a trencher over. I was going to, I know you guys haven't seen the Cabelco in a while, but that's a bit of a overkill to make a um, trench for that. So he has a friend that has a trencher and he's going to, he was going to bring it over today, but it's raining. So we've got a lull in the action right now, but he's going to bring that over hopefully tomorrow. And we'll, because we're also going to run a water line. The water line is going to run up here and as we talked about before it's going to tie in right over there so i've got to bring that along with the wi-fi so that's basically it and i've got two whatever you want to call them inspection boxes i've got one that's going to do the water and i've got one that's going to do the wi-fi because i already have a line as I showed you right about where the green is I ran a line out of David's house and when I had my stepdaughter sleeping in our camper I had put the camper over there you might have seen it in some of the other videos and there was Wi-Fi David had run Wi-Fi so I'm going to take that Wi-Fi line run it down this way and it won't make it all the way and I'm, I'm gonna connect it I know everybody says don't connect it but I know other people say you can connect it. I'm not worried. As long as I can get reasonable Wi-Fi out of it, it'll be fine. Cat5. And just give you a shot of the front. There's the kitchen sink coming out. And that pipe right there is just the, in case the uh, water heater overpressures, that's what comes out of the pressure valve. That doesn't need to go into anything because it won't hook up. And the water line, the water line is right there. So that will come down. I'll have a spigot out of it, a shut off. And once that's done, so we'll run the trench. We'll run the trench down that way. And then once that is done, then I can put the skirting on, which I already have. I just need to do it. Um, but I don't want to do it until everything's done. And the other thing they did, same on the back. If you look at those two piers right there they put the piers but they didn't put them under the frame so 3600 bucks for what i paid but if you look the frame is right here the frame is right there they're back here and this door barely works no footings like i talked about i wanted to put concrete footings under it but these two are critical so I'm going to dig these up. I'm going to put concrete footings underneath them, redo them. And the back door does not close at all after <laughs> paying, like I said, $3,600. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. Let me just go back there. But I've already paid them like an idiot. So whatever. They'll have to sleep with themselves after that. But... These are even farther back if you look at the distance. Now, this door up there, if I looked on the inside, you'd be able to put my whole fingertips in between the top of that door. It does not close. The latch doesn't work. It worked when they left. It does not work at all. The deadbolt never did work, but they left before I was done letting them know. And they've got these shims in there. But if you look at the columns, they're not even plumb. And for people that don't know, plum is level in the vertical direction, but you don't say level, it's called plum. But they're all leaning. If you look, they're leaning, if you can see it. And this one doesn't even have any pressure on it. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but that, that whole thing is moving. 
and the problem is there's so that has dropped so much and nothing's holding it up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to put concrete foot i'm going to take these out i'm going to put a concrete footing in there and i'm going to jack it up and shim it properly but bring it forward because if you look where my hand is right look how far back let's see there is the block and there is the frame so there's about three and a half inches that those need to come out because they're not on the frame they just put the shims underneath the insulation so i mean it's squished into the insulation ridiculous but that's what i should have just done the whole thing that's why i do everything since 1990 about i've been doing everything plumbing electrical tile sheetrock tape the whole thing whenever i build a house foundations um but that's what you get you try to trust somebody and you can't so that's what i'm going to be doing uh but like i said the inspector's coming tomorrow totally to give get me power we still didn't get the power yet um but tomorrow will be all set and i can get that in the works and i'll finish up and i'll have a separate video of uh like i said of running the water line and the septic line over here um but i really need to get on to david's memorial area um, which i showed you previously in another in the sunday video um you can see the flag over there there we go and you can see the pile of uh pavers but i've got to get working on that because that bench it better be coming in because it's over three months already that i've ordered it and they told me it wouldn't be longer than three months but down here three months is six months but i'll be calling them once i'm ready so i hope that gives you a little insight on what's going on with that again it's not instructional it's just showing you what i'm doing if anybody wants any questions on it you can let me know but um Again, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll try to get up the, another video as soon as I can, but it's uh, time is uh, precious right now. So, um, again, but I appreciate everybody. I can't believe I'm over 2,000 subscribers. Again, thanks to everyone. Um, and if you're new, please watch my channel trailer so you understand where I'm coming from um, and you know what's going on because a lot of people don't. So, and I appreciate the fact that they're new, but... Um, It'd be easier if I don't have to explain everything that's going on. Um, and again, so again, I appreciate everybody's nice comments. And thank you again. And I'll get the next one up as soon as possible. Take care. I want to get rid of the tub. It's really not mobile now. Bring it around back.